Yo, welcome to another Road to Planche video. If you're new to this channel and this series, I am showing you my way, no way, my way towards the planche, my journey, what I do, what I work out, how I feel and so on, and until I reach the planche. This year's goal is the full planche. I have not really got the straddle planche, I can't say that, but I still aim high and not low. So if you're new, subscribe if you like these type of videos and let's move on. As you might have noticed in the last video, I wasn't pretty happy, I wasn't pretty excited, but that's what I want to show you as well. The journey is not always up, it's up and down, up and down, and uh, this week I've been feeling also up and down, but much better. I've been focusing on getting better routines for my life. I'm, I'm trying to establish them better habits in the morning. Like one thing I've changed is uh, I wake up 6.30 to meditate for 10 minutes. I take five minutes shower and then I read for 20 minutes. I will show you what book I read right now, wait. So the book I read right now is this. It's the Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. I've read this I think six times now in the last four years and I love it. So if you're looking for a book, this is the book you should try to read. This week and the last week, the two past weeks has, like I said, up and down. I've been trying more attempts. I will show you soon and it feels better. And I've been thinking of new ways to try to engage the core and the whole body a bit more. Uh, but let me show you the first workout and then let's talk about the next thing. So the past two weeks I've been thinking of how to work on the core, the lower part of the body more without using your arms, like without needing to be in the planche, planche position, like using the shoulders and stuff so I can rest from that part. So I was thinking and thinking and then I, I came up with this idea and I, I've asked some people that are really good and experts in their area and they have agreed that it will help for the plash and that is the back lever and I've asked in the community page as well what you guys think and I got a lot of answers different opinions some opinions were from people that don't really have the plash yet and still appreciate the answer but I really want to know from somebody that has the plash what do they think does the back lever help you to reach the planche or is it a completely another thing front lever is working the opposite of planche yes still front lever will help in some way to get strong in everything but you know what i mean i mean does the back lever specifically help for the planche and this is what i came up with back lever in the back lever position you are in the same position as the planche you have protracted your shoulders and scapula uh, you have that rounded back and you are in the horizontal line as in the planche but often you have a close grip in the back lever to hold it closer to your body like the elbows towards your body so it will help but i think i thought what what if 
I bring my arms a little bit wider. I use my shoulders to push myself forward here to hold myself. And then instead of only holding here, because that's not the part I only want to work on. That's another thing I was thinking of about the planche. Yes, you can get strong in this position. Get there. You also need to get strong in the transition towards holding it here. So I came up with something I will add towards the next video and the next workouts is back lever raises. So I'm holding myself in a L-sit back lever and then I'm raising my legs up holding there for two three seconds and then down and then up and here I want to focus on engaging the core having the uh, PPT pelvis 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 posterior tilt yes and keeping and maintaining the form at all time and I think this will help to engage the whole body in one, con like connecting the whole body. So that's something I, I will add because I think that will help to connect my whole body with the shoulders. And yes, I still need to work on the strength in the shoulders. I'm not ne neglecting that. I need to work on that as well. But I think the back lever raises will help. I will see, I will try and I will tell you guys and you will see the results of it. But now you know. If you think that the back lever races will not help or the back lever all will not help for the planche, please comment down below and explain please. Ready and heavy confetti up on the scenery And see me leave this greenery Dreamingly change the scenery That's just a kin to me Finicky, oh, this energy Enemy ain't no Hennessy Remedy, all oh, my enemy that. Gotta flow, gotta show, gotta blow Gotta get out of it Now let me go, let me know Let me know the thoughts up in my brain Let me, then let me, yeah, let me be But you can fix the pain it's like paralysis, now what a marriage is Leave him in bandages and everything will vanish It's a slow man, it's so man, it's on me before he die It's life's a journey, so come along, enjoy the ride like Ooh. Honestly guys, the two past week I have not been consistent as I've been before. I really don't have any excuse. The only thing I can think of and I know it's true is that I have not written down what I should do, what days and so on. I have not scheduled it. If I don't schedule it, my body is like, yeah, I don't know what to do today, let's see, and so on. Time to schedule, time to plan better, and keeping that consistency because that will help me reach my goal. That's a tip I can give you guys and I'm just trying to be straight honest with you guys and myself and not get my ego to tell me that, yeah, it's something else, it's the circumstances, so blah, blah, blah. It's me, nobody else. But as you can see, I'm, do, I'm doing more tries right now and more attempts. And uh, it's not perfect, it, you know it's not perfect. I'm, just, I'm keeping, I'm trying to work on that. But be patient, it will come, it will be better. But I have a specific goal right now 
when I want to do the straddle plunge in a competition. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to compete. I'm going to compete in Jurmala 2020 in uh, 13th of June. And it's the World Cup stage and I'm super excited about, about that because I've not been competing. I'm not competing in like, I think over a year or something. I can't really compete in Sweden because I'm organizing all the competitions here. It would be just wrong and wrong to compete in your own competition or event. So I am focusing on building the community, building the competitions here in Sweden and then competing abroad. And now I just, my mind is so much clearer when it comes to freestyle. I'm focusing on both and I, I'm working on freestyle one time per week and it feels good. Before I did three to four times per week, getting too much, I didn't give my body the rest it needed and didn't get better in statics, so actually nothing got really better. But before we end this video, I just want to tell you guys that I'm super excited about one thing that is super close and that is the next competition I'm organizing in Sweden. It's still Beast of the Bars, but, 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 but it's going to be Game of Bars. 12 athletes competing in Game of Bars here in Sweden. But anyways, if you guys want to follow that, see the competition, I will link it down below so you can go to the page, follow it and just stay tuned for the next competition it'll be amazing and before you leave you know what to do because it helps the channel and it motivates me to do this even more it's to hit that like button and leave a comment on what you think of what i said in the video and i will answer you see you in the next video